Hi everyone and welcome back to First Coffee Crochet. In this crochet tutorial we're going to go over how to make an easy crochet plastic bag holder. Now this bag holder does use the granny stitch throughout most of the pattern so, so it is a pretty good pattern if you want to binge watch your favorite TV show or have a project to work on during a movie. Now if you do like grocery bag holders I do have another one that is a farmhouse style and I'll leave a link for that down in the description below. Now this pattern is in U.S. terms and it's worked in the round all in one piece. The initial chain at the beginning of each round does not count as a stitch unless it's noted. And the finished size is 18 inches long by 7 inches wide when it's laid out flat. Now you can make this taller or shorter by changing the number of times you do the repeat row of granny stitches. And to make this pattern you'll need 245 yards of a medium weight cotton yarn. You could also use acrylic if you would want, just cotton has a less chance of stretching out. And the yarn I did use is the Loops and Thread Eco Cotton. You can get that from Michaels. You will need a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, a yarn needle to weave in your ends, stitch markers if you would like those to help keep track of your rounds, and a pair of scissors. Now as always there is a written version of this pattern available on my website and I will leave a link for that down in the description below. So the stitches used in this pattern are the single crochet, the half double crochet, the double crochet, and the single crochet two together. And we'll go over all of these as we go through the tutorial. And let's go ahead and get started on making this bag holder. Okay, to start out we're going to make our slip knot. And then we're going to make a chain of 20. Once we have our chain of 20, we're going to join our first and last stitch using a slip stitch. And as you join these, you don't have to worry about it being twisted or anything. Okay, for round one, we're going to chain one. And then we're going to do a half double crochet 30 times into this ring. Okay, so you'll just yarn over, insert your hook into the inside of the ring, Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Okay, now we're just going to do the same thing all the way around until you have 30 half double crochet stitches. Now, as you're going through this, every few half double crochets that you do, you might just want to pull them back just a little bit so they're evenly spaced as you go around. When you get to 15, you want that to be about at the halfway point. Okay, and once we have 30 half double crochets, you're going to go ahead and use a slip stitch to join this last one and this first one. Okay, then for round two, we're going to chain one. And in this first stitch, we're going to do one half double crochet. And then in the next stitch, we're going to do two half double crochets. Now you're just going to repeat that all the way around. So you'll repeat it 14 more times. One half double crochet, then two half double crochets. And you should end on two half double crochets in your last stitch. And that'll increase your stitches to 45. Okay, for some reason we lost the footage for the end of this round, but when you get to the end, you join your first and last stitch using a slip stitch, just like you did in the round before. For rounds three through six, you're going to start off by chaining one at the beginning of the round, and then starting in that first stitch, you're going to do a half double crochet, and you're just going to do a half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. And at the end of the rounds, you'll join the first and last stitch using a slip stitch. So again, just repeat this all the way up through round six. And I'll meet you back here at the end of round six. Okay, starting for round seven, we're going to chain one. 
and then in that first stitch we're going to do a single crochet so you'll just insert your hook yarn over and pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook and then you're going to chain one more and this single crochet and chain are going to count as your first double crochet now we're going to do two more double crochets in that same first stitch so you'll just yarn over insert your hook and yarn over and pull up a loop yarn over and pull through two loops on your hook and then yarn over and pull through the remaining two now we're going to skip two stitches and in the following stitch after those two we're going to do three more double crochets all in that same stitch And then we'll skip two more and in the following one do three more double crochets so for round seven that's all we're going to do is three double crochets and skip two stitches all the way around so you should have 15 groups of three double crochets when you get all the way around when you're at the end of the round you'll have two stitches left we're going to skip those two and remember that this is your slip stitch that you used previously to join now we're going to use a slip stitch to join our last stitch with the top chain of that first initial double crochet that we made out of the single crochet in the chain okay, and starting in round eight this is going to be our repeat row for this pattern and this is where we're going to just be doing the granny stitch which is your group of three double crochets all around each round and we're going to be doing this up through round 36. so at the beginning of each round you'll want to chain one and what we'll be doing for the first one is we'll be going back into the space that is before the first double crochet of the previous round so we're going to do a single crochet into that space and then we're going to chain one and like before this is going to count as a double crochet stitch and then in that same space we're going to do two more double crochets and then we're going to skip over to the next space and we're going to do three more double crochets and this is what we're going to do for each round is we're going to do three double crochets in each space between the previous rows groups of three double crochets And once you're at the end of the round you're just going to use a slip stitch to join the last stitch and the top chain of that single crochet and chain that we counted as the first double crochet of the round okay we're going to keep repeating this all the way up through round 36 so just to go over the start of these again we'll chain one and then we're going to do a single crochet into the space before the first double crochet of the last round and then you're going to chain one and that'll count as our first double crochet of the round and then we're going to do two more double crochets into that same space and skip ahead to the next space and do three double crochets okay, and i'll meet you back here at the end of round 36. okay for round 37 we're going to chain one and then we're going to skip that first stitch and then we're going to do a half double crochet in each of the next two stitches and then we're going to do a half double crochet in the space between the three dc groups so that's the space here and we're not going into that stitch we're going into the space between the double crochet stitches but this is going to count as our half double crochet for that stitch so we're essentially skipping that stitch and then in the last two double crochets of that group we're going to do two more half double crochets so if you look at it from the top here we do a half double crochet a half double crochet and then a half double crochet into that chain space but we're skipping that stitch but it's counting as a half double crochet in that stitch so essentially we are skipping it And we'll continue to do this all the way around 
a half double crochet into the space and then a half double crochet into the last two double crochets of the three double crochet group. And I know that sounds like a tongue twister. So when we're at the end of this round and we've done our half double crochets into the last two double crochets of the previous round, we're going to do a half double crochet in that last space between the three double crochet groups. And then we're going to use a slip stitch to join our first and last stitch. You should still have 45 stitches at the end of this round. For round 38, we're going to chain one and then starting in that first stitch, we're going to do a half double crochet and we're just going to do a half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. Okay, and at the end of this round, we're just going to join our first and last stitch using a slip stitch. Okay, for round 39, we're going to be decreasing our stitches here. So this is where we're going to be using the single crochet two together. So you'll chain one, and then starting in this first stitch, we'll do one half double crochet. And then we're going to do a single crochet two together over the next two stitches. So to do that, you'll insert your hook, yarn over and pull up a loop. And then you're going to insert your hook into the following stitch and yarn over and pull up a loop. And that'll give you three loops on your hook. And then you'll just yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. So then in the next stitch after that, we're going to do a half double crochet. And then we're going to do a single crochet two together over the next two. And that's all you're going to be doing for this round. It's just alternating between one half double crochet and one single crochet two together. And that'll bring your stitches back down to 30 after this round. When you're at the end of this round, the last stitch should be a single crochet two together. And then you're just going to join your last and first stitch using a slip stitch. Okay, and for round 40, we're just going to be doing half double crochets in each stitch again. So you'll chain one and starting in that first stitch, go ahead and do a half double crochet and then just do a half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. And at the end of round 40, you're going to go ahead and use a slip stitch to join the first and last stitch. Okay, so now we're going to be making our ring for hanging it. So for the base of this ring, you're going to chain one and then starting in that first stitch, just do a single crochet and then do a single crochet over each of the next three stitches. And that'll give you a total of four single crochet stitches. And now we'll chain 12. Yeah, and once you've chained 12, Go ahead and use a slip stitch to join the chain to the first single crochet that we made for the base of this ring. So now we will chain one and we're going to go back around the ring and we're going to do 26 single crochets into that ring. As you're going around with this, you're going to want to pull your single crochets back towards the start of the ring. They will be close together in this ring. 
Um, and if you want to change the size of your ring, you can. You can change the number of chains. You can change the number of single crochets that you did. You can even make the base wider and do more single crochets if you wanted to. Once you've finished up the single crochets into your ring, to finish this off, you're going to want to use a slip stitch to join that into the same stitch that you put your last single crochet stitch into. And once you do that, you can go ahead and fasten off and weave in your ends and enjoy your new bag holder. Thanks for watching, and if you like these tutorials, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you can be notified as new ones come out.